what's good this is marcus the fingers d-a-f-i-n-g-a-z back with the samples for another review in this video we're going to talk all about saga 2 alien percussion from red room audio before we get into that be sure to like comment and subscribe to the sample list for more great videos like the one you are about to watch and although the library was provided by the great team over at red room audio they have not had the chance to review this video and that will not affect our decision on the plugin itself so what is saga 2 it is the second obviously uh, edition of the saga series the original featured acoustic percussion saga 2 features organic alien percussion it is an adventurous new concept that red room audio is trying to incorporate intergalactic organic percussion sounds created by eight expert sound designers and sound explorers you are getting 14 gigabytes of tonal and atonal percussion 194 alien instruments including round robins that and dynamic layers editing features you can layer it with traditional percussion libraries and percussion sounds it is a unique and highly playable library it does require the full version of contact 6.7.1 you also get the wave files included so you can drag and drop them into your daw and align them as needed it is currently priced at 119 dollars but you can save $30 by bundling it up and getting Saga and Saga 2. And if you already have Saga, you can buy Saga 2 for $30 cheaper. So that is that. What are you getting when you get this plugin? You're getting six contact patches, categories including auxiliary, cymbals and gongs, large drums, medium drums, small drums, multi-sampled, tonal instruments. You have the playable sounds, which will be on your blue keys here. The red key will be the last sound that you played. And the green keys will be the left and right of that sound that you have. So it'll be like the left hand, right hand. You can click these lines right here under the name of the sound to find other sounds in that particular category so you can see all the presets there if you want to save the settings you can freeze the settings here for the things that you set for the sound there you can also change the global settings by selecting global down here and adjusting as needed or you can just change the individual sound settings uh, just by clicking up here and adjusting those sound settings for the settings themselves you have volume pan tune you have an fx rack which we'll get to shortly you can send that sound to either of the six or the master effects racks you have cutoff and resonance filters you have an attack and release and you can offset the sample so let's say you don't want to play right at the start of the sample you can offset it by playing further into the sample you can also sync the gate you have a gator function here where you can sync it to your tempo or you can adjust the rate and depth uh, as needed and you can select the gator there and with the rack that's built in you can choose the effects rack option and you can go between all these different racks here so let's say you wanted to add in any of these presets you can add in distortion you can add in a flanger uh, let's say uh, another flanger a limiter chorus um, basically like a stomp box of pedals and things like that or you can load in rack presets um you can save your presets you can load them you can reset the preset so let's say i wanted to re reset everything um and let's say i wanted to bring in a chorus i can choose uh save just the chorus presets here or i can choose a dice option to change the settings just for that um preset so you know i like the random option so if you choose random you can change just the presets for that setting so let's say i want to go to flanger here and i want to adjust settings here i can just click that a couple times and there you go i have some presets there uh let's go to limiter and i can hit that again again you get it uh, you see what's happening there and and the UI is really, I like the pedals here. I like the limiter there. You see that um, you have all these effects here, convolution, reverb, reverb, cabinet, a uh, delay, a uh, twang jump, um, some boxes and things like that. So a lot of things happening in the plugin, too much to really get into fully and dive in deeply. You have to purchase it for the really, really great price of 119 currently um, or save $30 on getting the bundle. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mute the microphone and I'm going to dive in on some of the presets for all six categories here. So let's go.
But that is just a quick playthrough of all six categories. One thing about the tonal instruments, as you could have seen, these are the instruments that have tones and they are spread across the keyboard so I can play them in keys and notes like this. And to choose between different sounds there, I can click this menu here or I can click the left and right arrows to toggle between those sounds all the way from the Alien Cortales down to the tri -tenic. So that is what the tonal patch does there in Saga 2. So what we are going to do right now is we're going to jump over to a demo that I created featuring sounds from Saga 2 organic alien percussion from Red Room Audio. Let's jump over. So that is the track I created featuring Saga 2. Let's just go over what's happening here. I started it from the second half because it's basically the same thing. Um, I'm working on a track for an artist and I basically dived into Saga 2 to add some percussion to the drums and stuff that I had going on already. So let's start with, uh, we'll start with the small, duh. actually let's start with, yeah, let's start with the small drums down here. Um, so I have the small drums doing this right here. I'm layering that on top of the drums and then I have large drums happening right here. So let's bring that up. And that is on top of the rock drums that I have going on. So that's layered on top of that with the large drums. And then uh, you heard the auxiliary going on. So I'll just jump over to the auxiliary that's doing like the little, uh, almost sounds like a tambourine. It almost sounds like a tambourine mixed with like almost sleigh bells, but distorted type affected. And I'm using these basically out the box. I might have tuned some up and down, but basically straight out the box with that. Uh, so that is that first auxiliary. I have a second auxiliary going on here. Uh, just doing a symbol. I'm going to layer that uh, with the cymbals and gongs, but I have one that sounds like a symbol doing this here. And that's all it is. It's really just a symbol layered with the symbols on the drums. And then I also have these symbols and gongs playing something similar here. That sounds like almost like a symbol mixed with like rain stick. It's called thunder symbol. So you hear the rain and things going on there. Uh, make it sound like it's a wet symbol. Yep. Uh, so that's what's happening there. And then we have medium drums playing uh, along with the rhythm here. like a filtered percussion instrument um i don't i'm not doing much other than that throughout the track you hear it coming adding and dropping every eight or so bars there uh that's what's happening there and then we have the tonal stuff so let's get into some of the melodies that i'm playing with the tonal stuff here so uh here's one at the sort of beginning of the track mm -hmm. 
and I'm using the Donglor preset. I brought the release down a little bit because there was a long tail on that, so I brought that down just to uh, tame in the sound a little bit. One more tonal thing happening during what I would call the bridge of the track, and that is just playing some something sort of new, uh, which just the drums in this playing. Almost like a synth wave type thing, and again, that's the string ting preset in the saga to the tonal uh, category. So I don't think I changed much there. I might have brought the release down a little bit, um, but I really liked what that was doing during the bridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play just the saga two stuff that's happening um, from this part on. I might bring in the drums so you can hear it in context with the drums uh, later on in the track. I'm going to play it from here uh, through. I'll play it from this part through to the end. So there you have it. Really great plugin from Red Room Audio Saga to Organic Alien Percussion. There's some great things about this. You get a lot of sounds in there. You get the six categories. You get them spread out across the keyboard. You get some color indicators. So if you have a native instruments keyboard, you can see those color indicators on your keyboard with the lights. One thing that I wish um, there was a random button. Like, of course, you know I love randomized button. You see the random button in the effects racks with the presets and things, but I wish there was a randomized button here that would randomize like a preset and then some of the settings here so that you could just start creating and sound designing things just from hitting a, a dice over here on this plugin uh on this page here uh the other thing is the sounds here they sound great um i think there are sounds that you can create if you have uh, enough drum sounds already in your arsenal enough enough drum libraries if you don't want to dive in there because what you would have to do is load up a drum sound and then load up a bunch of effects to get the sounds that you're getting here um this is great for bypassing all of that so if you just need some easy affected sounds i would go to the saga 2 organic percussion library uh, but again some of those sounds you can sort of recreate um, it just takes more time so if you want to save time definitely look into this um, percussion library also remember you can get the bundle for the saga original the uh, acoustic percussion in saga 2 and you can save money by purchasing the bundle there so overall great plugin i will be using this as you can tell i use this in a, pr uh, tr a track that i'm working on for an artist this is more so like a rock popish type track for an artist um, it could also work in your uh if you're doing rb you know i do trailer stuff it could work there also so if um, you just need something different something affected more percussion affected sounds there are some tonal stuffs in there also so you can go through the tonal stuff check those out shout out to red room audio for providing this to us to review for you and shout out to you for watching this video be sure again to like comment and subscribe to the sample list here on youtube for more great videos like this and we will see you in the next video all right all right peace